I will tell you something that I have learned from all these years of ministry, that you can push, you can prod, you can pull a person along. It doesn't do any good. They'll quit the first chance they have unless, unless a person is willing. When a person has the desire in herself or himself, that is when the change happens that is permanent. If they don't have that, they don't have anything. Well, here we are on a Monday, a brand new week. And if you're watching this on Monday or on Tuesday, it's still going into the week. And many go into a period of a new week weary because of all that has gone on before. They think, oh, gee. I've received some prayer requests this morning that said just this. I just don't know how I can do it for another week, how I can go on in this job, this relationship, how I can handle this problem any longer. And perhaps you feel this way too. Perhaps there are challenges, weights upon you that, that you feel as if you cannot carry any longer. Well, listen to what it says in 1 Peter 5, verse 2. It says, tend the flock of God that is your charge. I've always read this and interpreted this as a minister, tend the flock of God that is your charge. And you ministers that are listening to this, you'll understand that. And it goes on with a very true statement, not by constraint, but willing. So this is the way I ask you to consider going into this new week with all that has gone on before and all that lies ahead. Ask God to touch you in such a way that you're in filled with the strength, the power, and the willingness to go forward in a new way. At any point in any journey, the stretch of the road that has already been traveled, and yet the one that is to be traveled, you know, we can look in one way or the other way, and the one that is to be traveled, well, that may seem equally long and tiring. But not if you're touched by God and not if you have new strength come in you. And that is what I pray right now happens to you if you're watching this. I pray that you have a new energy and a new charge in you. But more than that, God can't force it upon you. No minister can, God can't, because you have free will. You, my friend, have to be willing. You have to want this. You have to be like a sponge that just soaks this in and, and holds it in yourself and uses it. And then there is a tremendous change. So if you feel that you're growing weary of a commitment to make an improvement in your life, say, uh, this is a time of rededication. It is a time to encourage yourself by being willing to accept the encouragement of God and the imagination of God, the creativity of God coming through you anew. Holding true to the course of improving oneself in every area of life, whether health or knowledge, or relationships, we make a renewed commitment to achievement by first laying the foundation by being willing. And then we encourage ourselves by using our imagination to visualize good results that we desire instead of the worst possible outcome. We know that the underlying good of any attempt that we will make or any improvement is following the will of God. 
even at this point in our lives where we have so much before us and so much ahead of us, we know that there will be a wealth of experiences and blessings during the rest of our journey toward achievement. I always say the best is yet to come because that is the way it is with God. God bless your week.